Welcome to Monaco, uh, probably the most famous and glamour circuit of the year. Here at Zone, only one going to Sandevot. Here, uh, Sandevot, it's it's a quite quite a tricky corner because it's actually much faster than what people would think it is. And then on exit, you want to use that curb a touch because it it actually stops the car from sliding. But as you can see, that curb is against the wall. And then up the casino, yeah, it's very bumpy and the, the track isn't quite straight, so always the car moves right to left. And then you want to come into the casino and you enter so fast after the, the pedestrian crossing. The car doesn't jump, but you feel like it's going up and then when it lands, you just hit brake. Do a double apex, second apex here. And then towards that right corner here, make sure you, you get the inside. Because here, you're going to go here, downforce is good, and then you go up the crest and the car starts to slide a little bit more. But you also want to avoid that big bump which is here uh, on my left uh, so you come back here go down here braking here tricky braking inside wheel will always lock when you get to that point because then the the car is in the the inside wheel is in the air uh, for a very long time and then it comes back on the on the track and then the, the rear starts moving because obviously you go from one front wheel to two front wheels uh, on the ground very very low speed corner you steer and then you actually let one hand go and the only turn with the right hand and then when you start on steering you come back with the two hands double right portier I love using that curb but over the last few years it hasn't been very successful in terms of lap time uh, you use that curb to stabilize the car and here same thing important to carry some good minimum speed but mainly what you want is to go very early on throttle to go under the tunnel Tunnel flat out right inside corner. It's actually not as easy as it looks. And then just after the bump here, you go on the brake. So same thing. When you get to the braking zone, the car just moves, and then you hit brake. You want to come as close as you can from the inside wall here. And so many times it is so close, you can't even imagine. Uh, to make sure you hit that second apex right, and then you try to steer the car as straight as you can. So you do a straight line here, but again, it's quite challenging with the left wall here. Uh, to go towards Birotaba. Birotaba, super high speed corner for street circuits. Make sure you don't miss the apex. If you do miss the apex, that is a very, very tricky part. And then we're going to the swimming pool. Completely blind first part of the corner, so you actually turn without seeing anything. A lot of curb here. And then quite a big break here, and that's the same thing here. You really want to be completely on the apex. Uh, with your right wheel to go as straight as you can towards that curb and make sure that it doesn't disturb the car too much here on exit because you still want to go quite early and flat out and La Rascasse again same same old things very very slow speed corner make sure you get the apex here and for some reason in La Rascasse the traction is always always tricky on exit and then the last corner uh, same thing going up and down here use that curb to stabilize the car and then go on the main straight and you open the DRS. 